Britain's Got Talent, Stage Invader leaves judges shaken after slamming red buzzers in semi-finals after major technical glitch on first live show. The first live show was blighted when a thunderstorm caused a technical glitch, forcing Britain's Got Talent to be off air for five minutes. And Tuesday semi-finals didn't go without a hitch after a Stage Invader stormed onto the judging panel and slammed three of the red buzzers. The judges were left shaken when the intruder interrupted their critique of Magus Utopia's act, as Amanda Holden screamed in fright while Simon Cow swore. The judges were in the midst of giving feedback to Magus' magical performance when the trespasser decided to give his own verdict. Managing to slam Amanda, Alicia and Simon's buzzers, the camera quickly panned out as Simon swore and security dealt with the stage invasion. Speaking about what happened, Simon said, it's been one of the nuttiest nights of my life. We've had zombies. We've had magicians. We've had people pressing our buzzers. Eagle-eyed fans noticed the music mogul vent his frustration by giving the invader a two-finger salute before putting his head in his hands in despair. Ironically, it came mere minutes after Magus made the judges jump up from their seats in fright when he mysteriously appeared behind them at the end of his illusion act. In the midst of confusion, some believed it was part of the act but quickly found it wasn't after Amanda exclaimed she needed a gin while holding her hand to her chest. Viewers were left shocked by the incident as they flooded to Twitter to comment on what happened, with some describing the music mogul's reaction as the highlight of the show. One wrote, Did Simon just flip the bird brilliant? While another said, That stage invader has been the best judge tonight. Another typed that was the most exciting bit with the random buzzers. While one fan wrote, Simon swearing at that idiot is the best thing he's ever done. It's not the first time an invader has interrupted the live shows. Back in 2012, viola player Natalie Holt pelted Simon Cowell with eggs during the live final of Britain's Got Talent. Natalie was accompanying singing brothers Richard and Adam on stage when she jumped to the front and began throwing eggs at Cowell and his fellow judges. Judge Amanda spoke of her anger at the disruption caused and branded Natalie a stupid cow for the apparent act of protest. Simon meanwhile was forced to remove his jacket and was left with yoke on his shirt following the attack, which Natalie later apologized for. On Tuesday, December kickstarted the show with another explosive opening as he slipped into a glittery dress for his solo comedic sketch. The television presenter, 42 introduced the second night of the semi-finals with a skit about him not knowing what to wear before changing into an array of skimpy ensembles. December slipped into a cabin crew outfit before shocking viewers when he made a quick change into a multicolored sequin mini dress. The host's dress was however upstaged when Amanda Holden and Alicia Dixon showed off their gowns. The 47-year-old flaunted her age-defying physique in a risque semi-sheer ruffle gown which came complete with a sultry thigh split. Amanda flaunted her toned stomach and lean limbs due to the sheer paneling and bustier bra. Meanwhile, Alicia opted for a plunging crushed velvet gown which hugged her svelte frame. Styling her raven hair in a high bun, the singer ensured all eyes were on her as she held hand with her fellow judges. B Positive Choir were the first to perform, singing This Is Me from The Greatest Showman, which was lauded by the judges. David Williams said, You've got a brilliant message but just judging you purely on a performance it was out of this world guys, well done. While Alicia claimed it was the most powerful opener on the show, dance troupe Futinity performed a zombie inspired dance, with a girl running through the Hammersmith Apollo before she eventually became infected. All four judges gave the act a standing ovation, with Amanda Holden describing it as apocalyptic. December later comforted young singer Callum Courtney after he burst into tears following his moving rendition of Stevie Wonder's Isn't She Lovely in tribute to his mum. Simon told Callum, who has autism, you are so popular, you are likable and popular, you've just ticked two boxes, and also that you had the courage to come out here is daunting. The public voted for Donche's Dockers to go through to the live finals after he managed to get the auditorium on their feet with his summer hit Wiggle Wine. Following the results, he told December, I'm speechless. Thank you very much and I'm going to bring something to new to the table. Wiggle Wine has had its glory and now we're going to bring something fresh. Judges had to then decide if Callum Courtney or B Positive would make it through to Sunday show.
Simon said, you've got a choir who has a positive message about the NHS and you've got an adorable kid who sings about his mom. We have to let the public decide. The act with the most votes was revealed to be Callum Courtney. Meanwhile Tuesday's stage intrusion comes a day after Britain's Got Talent suffered a major technical failure less than 15 minutes into its first live show. Screens went black on ITV during a thunderstorm shortly before 7.45 p.m., before the channel was forced to air a sorry for the disruption message, with Simon Cowell jokingly blaming Ant McPartland for sabotaging the show. For the first time in the popular show's history the live shows took place at London's Hammersmith Apollo instead of ITV's studios, with Declan Donnelly, 42, presenting the show alone. ITV were forced to air old audition footage as they rushed to fix the problem during their flagship program. Viewers vented their frustration about the technical glitch with many joking and was behind the failure and had pulled the plug on the show. After five minutes off air with ITV having to show audition footage, December appeared on stage. Speaking about what happened, the presenter said, Welcome back to the start of semi-final here in London. Now the weather has caused some problems here. The television host then turned to the judges and joked, All going well so far guys. 